guys uh, this is Sven on the SRS channel back again and today we're gonna have a look at this uh, one six scale figure by uh, hobby master it's the legend series here one six collectible action figure it's the HF zero 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 four in their line and it's the Moshe Dayan, he was also Israeli military leader and politician. So this is a real historical person. Uh, here you have the front of the box. It's the side of the box with his name and everything here. Here's the back of the box with a few pictures and here's the web address if you want to check out for more figures. The other side and here's the top of the box. And Here's the bottom, and there's a display window here with the figure and how everything comes packaged. There's also some stuff here to read if you want to read it. It's uh, his name under the Velcro piece here, but yeah. It's a bit of shame to put it on top of the text there, but that's okay. And you see his gun, the Webley 38 revolver here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Uh, a huge shout out to Don Ireland. Uh, from Ireland <laughs> uh, for gifting me this figure it came uh, as a surprise in the mail so yeah huge shout, shout out to Don Ireland and uh, check out his uh, channel mine is uh, 30 media on YouTube and uh, yeah let's get on to the contents of the packaging and uh, see what's in there the figure comes uh, packaged in this uh, clamshell and if I try to move this cover very carefully and here is the figure. It also comes with uh, all the medals and stars and stuff to attach to the figure uh, we'll see <laughs> how I can get that sorted uh, let's go with the accessories first it comes with this tiny little handgun here gun there. I don't think anything is slidable. Yeah, it's a spring-loaded sliding mechanism here. Uh, as I mentioned, you can cock the gun and uh, zoom. Yes, the magazine is removable with a painted bullet. And uh, yeah, nicely painted and weathered. Uh, he also comes with the revolver you saw in the box. Uh, 
cock the gun here though, but uh, I think I don't want to force it. But it looks like this and this piece is separate, so you should be able to bend it and uh, and uh, remove the barrel here. The barrel spins. Uh, must be some. Yeah. Anyway, that's the revolver. Made of plastic, uh, painted nicely though, with the loop here on the bottom. And that's that gun. Also get this one. clip and now the removing pieces you can and then the stock here, uh, the side back here, spendable back and forth, and so is this piece over here. Uh, that's all the movable pieces I can find on it, and you have the belt to carry. The rifle and everything and you attach that phone up back here and you should be good to go and see the other side here too nicely molded details here on the barrel That's the rifle. And you also get the belt holster for uh, the revolver. Nicely done. Velcro. All you need to do is slide it onto the belt. Uh, you get the silver painted beautifully done wristwatch take a look at the molding first there nicely done everything around here you have the face of the watch There, really nicely done. I also get his eye patch. Right here, it's on a string. This canteen, just put it on the belt too. Uh, Velcro, and uh, the bottle is removable. It's Velcro on the 
attachments there. There's the bottle. Nicely done. <clears throat> you get uh, right hand gun holding hand. Nicely painted there. You see the veins on his forehand. the hand. You also get a left hand tight fist. Nicely painted with the wings on the forehand there too. And then we have his hat. There's a cardboard insert here to keep the shape on it, but yeah. Uh, it's green with this black strap here and the black uh, front piece here. You can see the medallion or emblem on top of the hat there. Really nicely done hat. And then there is the scary piece here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on with the other medallions for a second. Let's quickly go over the figure. Really beautiful head sculptor. If I can focus, really nicely done head sculpt. See the freckles here. Beautiful painted lips. Hairline is amazing. Really nicely sculpted hair here. Beautifully done figure. I like the head sculpt. And uh, we have the uniform. Uh, you have this piece of here where you can attach the mentioned medallions and stuff here. And his rank, I guess. Uh, front of the figure. The figure comes with a pair of relaxed hands. There's his belt, two pockets in the front there, and they don't seem to work. Nice and shiny shoes, uh, molded laces, but uh, I'm fine with that. side of the shoes, back of the figure, back pockets there, buttons on his sleeves, and uh, yeah, that's the figure. Second, 
and uh, yeah the medals <laughs> let's try to get some So this is why I'm not removing them out of the box. Uh, you have uh, some buttons here, four of them, and some metal stuff, four of them. And these are really, really tiny pieces, guys. So I need to figure out how to get them onto the figure. There you have those, and it also comes with a stand. There you have the grabber. I love this uh, stand uh, where you don't paint the grabber itself. They can leave that that one unpainted, but uh, keep the plastic ends on their sharp. And there, uh, the pole itself is uh, as usual, and just because it was taped onto here, uh, there's an insert that uh, you could use as a backdrop if you want to. It's a really nice uh, piece, so I wouldn't throw that away. Uh, you have uh, a stand here. Moshe Dayan, Chief of Staff of the Israel Defense Forces. So, yeah. That's it for the contents. Uh, hold on, and uh, I'll try to assemble the figure, and I'll be right back. Uh, I also want to mention that the figure actually has, uh, has some sort of Fat suit underneath, going here. So I give him some sort, uh, somewhat of a belly. Also down here in the crotch area, I can feel a little bit of padding. And uh, here is the figure fully assembled, as far as I can manage to do it. Uh, I put the small gun in his uh, right hand. And uh, the revolver in the holster and the holster on the belt. Uh, eye patch on, the hat is on. And the uh, canteen is attached to the belt there. And uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to display him with the rifle hanging over his shoulder but uh, so either the gun or the rifle or maybe both goes back in the box but uh, yeah that's pretty much how I'm gonna display him for now uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be using to Attach all these uh, four shoulder buttons for the shoulder straps up there. And there's uh, four medallions that goes onto the pocket right there. Uh, maybe super glue is, maybe super glue is uh, fine to use. I probably do that, but uh, that will happen sometime when I have a little bit more time. Uh, but yeah, that's how it looks. I uh, also want to point out the stand itself. Uh, this is absolutely not the uh, your generic stand, guys. Uh, it has a polish finish on the edge all the way around. 
uh, and a matte surface. Nameplate is done in really nice silver. As you can see here. And yeah, really nice stand. Uh, I also want to mention the rifle. You have this tiny little hinged piece here where you attach the strap or the hook of the strap. Uh, that one really want to pop out on mine. So I don't feel comfortable with uh, hanging it over his shoulder without this gun falling down. But then again, it might be a little bit too much of an overkill to have him um, holding a gun uh, carrying another and then having a rifle on his back so maybe the rifle or the gun or maybe both of them will go back in the box along with the medals for now and uh, that was my review on the Hobby Master 1.6 scale legend series Moshe Dayan uh, figure and uh, yeah if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the uh, to the channel. And uh, as always, go nuts in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye bye.